Hi everyone today I want to discuss about the incomplete octet otherwise it is called octet deficient one of the best example is b f 3 then how this bf3 molecule is stabilized that i want to explain now we know that boron atom atomic number is 5 its electronic configuration 1 s2 2 s2 2p1 then here in valence shell we have the three electron 2 plus 1 fluorine atomic number 9 1 s2 2 s2 2p5 in valence shell we have 2 plus 5 that is 7 electrons then how to draw its lewis structure we know that less electronegative atom should be central uh, central atom the more electronegative atom should be the surrounding atom then boron is a central atom ca fluorines are surrounding atoms this is well known therefore now according to this one boron mean valency electrons are 3 3 fluorine then 3 into 7 then total 3 into 7 21 21 plus 3 total 24 valency electrons but each atom to get octet 8 electrons are required boron required the 8 electron each fluorine required the 8 electron then 3 into 8 3 into 8 24 24 plus 8 that is 32 electrons maximum electrons required maximum electron required for octet now this 32 minus 24 we will get 8 electrons it indicating here in between this one boron three fluorine total four atom that four atoms required the eight electron bonds it mean each bond two elect uh, one bond mean two electron so total how many bonds it will form four bonds are formed between the boron and fluorine that structure i want to draw here this is one fluorine second fluorine then third fluorine total how many bond three bond but according to this how many bonds required four bond so in between any one of the fluorine it having the one more bond total how many valence electrons are present 24 each bond mean two electron 4 into 2 eight electrons then remaining electron we have to arrange around the fluorine so total this eight and this is 1 2 3 so this is 6 electron and 6 electron 6 plus 6 and this 4 okay this is mm, 8 plus 6 14 14 plus this this is 20 then we have to arrange the remaining four electron like this then actually each fluorine atom having a three lone pairs but at this fluorine we have the only two lone pair it means one lone pair it is given to boron loss of electron that's why it is positive charge gain of electron that's why it is negative charge this is a structure according to this valency electron and to get the octet it meaning what is there the fluorine given electron to boron this is called back bonding then only this boron will stabilize according to octet but we know that a lewis structure with the zero or lower formal charge that is the more stable now it having the formal charge negative and formal charge positive generally the negative formal charge on the more electronegative atom and positive charge on the less electronegative atom that is favorable condition but here reverse For a formal positive charge present on the fluorine and negative charge present on the boron this condition here not favorable for this structure therefore like this representation we will not see in any one of the textbook therefore the actual structure or the experimental evidence shows that this is the exact structure for 
boron trifluoride each fluorine is bonded with a single bond the remaining electrons are represented as a like this 1 2 3 lone pairs at each fluorine then each fluorine get the octet here one bond mean two electron and this three lone pair three lone pair three into two six and this two electron eight electron at each fluorine now each uh, so around the boron three bond it means six electron at the boron eight electron at each fluorine atom then surrounding atoms are octet but central atom is incomplete octet it is incomplete octet but also this representation is good representation for boron trifluoride this is not reason we know that negative charge on the boron positive charge on the fluorine that is not acceptable therefore boron trifluoride is one of the example for incomplete octet i hope you understand well why this bf3 is represented as a three bonds not with the four bond of the central atom generally in explanation we will tell this back bonding that's why it is stable but that bond we are not representing in the structure because of the these are the reasons one is formal and uh, the structure lewis structure should be with the zero formal charge is the more acceptable form and the negative charge is on the more electronegative atom positive charge on the less electronegative atom that is a, one of the acceptable in the resonance structures or lewis structure therefore this is a acceptable lewis structures thank you very much i hope you understand the concept why we are writing as a bf3 with the three bonds other than the four bond thank you very much